This is 100% joy. It's time for a reality check. Let's talk. How do you see yourself? Do you see yourself as a doormat? Everybody can walk all over. Or do you see yourself as an exotic island people have to put in the work to get to? This was a statement a friend of mine made to me years ago, and it stuck. The truth is, people treat you the way you treat yourself. Your actions towards yourself is what you project on others. When you treat yourself as second, when you put yourself in second place, people will put you in second place because that is what you've led them to believe. A lot of times we grow up to become people pleasers because it was a defense mechanism we used as children. You know, we try to please our parents to avoid punishment or to get their validation. But as we grow up into the real world, it now doesn't work as a defense mechanism anymore. It becomes something that actually plunges us into deeper problems. Now, there's a difference between people pleasing and kindness. When you're kind to people, you don't expect anything in return. But when you're a people pleaser, you go out of your way to please people because of what you will get in return or because you want their validation in return or you want a pat on the back in return. Now, when you don't get that or you don't get that acceptance, you become bitter and resentful. How do you know you're people pleasing? We'll talk about it when I get back. How do you know you're people pleasing? You know you're people pleasing when you cannot say no to anyone. When you say no, you feel guilty. You feel like the whole world is coming to an end. You know you're people pleasing when you go out of your way to please people even when it's not convenient for you. You know you're people pleasing when your acts are not acts of kindness, but they are acts of kindness because you want something in return, either acceptance, friendship, or validation. You know you're people pleasing when a situation or circumstance is not in your favor or it's not conducive for you, but you still stay in it because you need to make every other person happy but yourself. You know you're people pleasing when you make every other person happy except you. Now, how do you stop people pleasing? You just have to make up your mind to stop people pleasing. It's, it's as simple as A, B, C, D. You just have to say no. No has to become your favorite word. When it's not convenient for you, then say no. When it's convenient for you, by all means, go out of your way and be nice to people. Don't keep company of people who take advantage of the fact that you're kind or you're nice. People who want to walk all over you or take advantage of the fact that you go out of your way to be there for others. You don't need such company. Don't keep company of people who walk all over you, who feel that you're a doormat and you should be walked all over. You should keep companies of people who treat you like royalty, who treat you like the queen that you are, who, who treat you like the king that you are, who understand your value. It's important that relationships are value-based. If people don't value you, you have no business being in that circle or in that relationship or in that friendship. It's important that you understand that it's how you present yourself, people will take you. So it all starts with you. It's important that the decisions you're taking are in your own best interest. Don't go away. When we come back, it's giveaway time. Okay, so it's time for our giveaways. And today I'm giving out something that I know a lot of you will find exciting. I decided to give out cash today. So I'm giving 10,000 naira to five lucky winners. So you know the drill, hit me up and let me know why you deserve the 10,000. And if I feel that whatever you're using it for is productive enough, then that money is yours. So I look forward to hearing from you and see you soon. Bye.